This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. I did a lot of artwork over the weekend, and I also did some things that probably screwed stuff up, you know, like, uh, oh, I don't know, screwed things up. What can I say? Um, uh, nothing was working right here as I started up this evening, but we got it all sorted out, and, you know, for a few minutes we didn't have sound on something and whatever, and, you know, it always happens when I come back after a weekend, and and try to get this whole thing working again. Plus, we did a whole bunch of new things. We have a new opening, and I, I even have a new, uh, let me see here, a new Ramble for the end of the show, the, a new Ramble uh, logo thing. See, to begin with, that's a whole new Alex the Ramble. It looks, I think, much better. And then behind it, that's the city with fireworks. Okay, so these are little things that I enjoy doing, and I hope you enjoy watching, but we just tried to improve the show a little bit, but you know, help with it's not going to help things, not going to get us any more listeners. So, what the hell? Anyway, you know, it's uh, let me do something. I got to get rid of something here. Up, 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 up. Remove from list. There we go. Okay. Um, where do we go? Okay. Uh, we're going to do our uh, weekly thing we do with uh, with uh, with uh, uh, Phil. FSSL. I can't talk straight. I'm I'm out of it. I'm just you know, I I've got uh, what is it? Positional vertigo. It turns out now. Oh boy, I'm getting to feel more and more like Biden every day. Anyway, what do you say we go over and uh, check our Zoom panel? First of all, I got to let uh, Phil in, okay? And then I got to take our Zoom panel and uh, bring him up. There we go, okay. Let me see here. Hey. I do that, get rid of that, okay. All right, we're all okay now. How you doing? I'm doing just fine. Thank you for asking. Uh, you know... You're, you're, uh, you you're, 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 you're uh, coming to us from Hawaii tonight, right? <laughs> or at least the stock uh, video photo in Zoom. I mean, at least the video, uh, the background I use is my actual living room. Well, uh, yeah. So I invite so, you into my living room every evening at this time. Well, I'm very happy that you come from the living room. Yeah. Uh, you won't have to do that much longer. What do you mean? I I now have a Bitcoin, and uh, you know uh, it's it's worth so much. This Bitcoin, uh, I'll just buy Gabnet, you know. I'll, not, I'll, I'll be the Elon wait, wait, Musk wait, wait, of wait, Gabnet. Hold us on a second. I don't think there is such a coin as a Bitcoin. That's true. <laughs> Alan gave it to me. <laughs> oh, there's no such coin as a Bitcoin. It's but it, it looks like you know when they take a picture of well, Bitcoin. What, what they're trying to do is avoid being a monetary system. Yeah. Well, uh, so that that's uh, yeah. Alan Alan gave me that the other day. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, if it was valuable, he wouldn't have given it to me. Okay. Well, thank you, Phil. It's uh, nice having you here, and we'll see you again next week. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is, is that all you got? No, well, you no, know, I, I, I got I got a couple of other coins. Are you but, wearing a Trump T-shirt? Yes, thank you very much. Here we go. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, and we'll save America again. You, really, you know, you really, after all you've heard in the last couple of weeks about what a fucking coward this guy was well, and what an instigator this guy was and how he sat there in the uh the the uh, dining room just watching fox and seeing this insurrection going on and doing nothing about it oh you mean uh eating kentucky fried chicken was it you know, was he doing that too 
I, I think so. Uh, yeah. Now, no, you know, I, I pulled this thing up. It's uh, uh, Trump authorized the National Guard for January 6th, and uh, D.C. and Pelosi didn't request it. They had to request it, and actually they refused it. Um, so what? So uh, what? Three days, so what? three days before. Well, well so you what? see, he can't, he can't send the troops. He can only authorize them. The troops must be... Where did this uh, come from? What, what, what news source is that? Uh, let me see. Uh, well, it was probably uh, uh, Epoch, but uh, oh god, the, the writer, oh. the writer for this, uh, yeah. is from Wisconsin. He were he wrote for the Catholic World Report, the oh, Racy Journal good. Times, the Wisconsin State Journal, oh, and the Chicago hell. Tribune. He's a, a well vetted uh, uh and the sh- well you know i mean you Come you on, could Phil, say these things Phil, but this is Phil, this is based Phil, on testimony you, find, you know what you do is you find these these small little things that people say happened and then All you right. you know you find what you want to believe and then you go ahead and you believe that okay well uh there was a claim from the from I mean, the vice you, chair of that? the house committee mm-hmm. uh that trump didn't order the national guard uh, on the sixth. Well, maybe he well the did. Pentagon chief Cash Patel says that uh, the Trump authorized up to twenty thousand troops uh, to use in D.C. and elsewhere for January sixth, and the troops were rejected by Muriel Bowser and the U.S. Capitol Police. And uh, you know, under under the law, the president can't deploy military inside the U.S. and uh, uh, at the meeting that he called for this, uh, you had Secretary of Defense Chris Miller. Phil, you had Neil. What does this mean? What does this mean? What does well, it this mean? means that three days before you, he authorized this, this, this okay. is not the kind of thing you'd mean, have in an this, insurrection. Does this mean that uh, he didn't uh, incite a riot? No, I don't think he did. Oh, you, you listen to that speech? Yeah, and I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't think he did. He said peacefully, go down and let he your voices be heard. Peaceful. He did not say peacefully. Yeah, he did he not said, say. Like, he did not well, say peacefully. Well, do you have where's uh, where's your transcript? He said peacefully. May he may have said something to the effect of march peacefully down to the Capitol, but he didn't Correct. say what to do once you get there. All right. Well, that's he can't. He didn't incite anybody to go in. He's, they, he's you know, people did that telling, on their own. He's telling them they've got to stop the vote. And and no, Phil, and, you Phil, know, Phil, Phil, he didn't. Phil, he Phil, didn't stop the Phil, vote. You're he giving just, me a headache. I can't believe what a moron you are. Uh, uh, I just I, can't. I knew believe that was it. coming. I. What do you mean? You knew what was coming? Of course, you knew it was the coming. The moron statement. Yeah. Uh, but then I also have. Trump administration accomplishments, oh boy. and and it's it's amazing the the number of accomplishments mm-hmm. and the things that uh, he did to uh, to help this country and uh, uh, and to oh, make oh, it really? prosperous. Really, oh, he did, it, and it got prosperous, did it? Yes, it did. Oh, Very no, prosperous. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Uh, uh, no, it didn't under Biden. What's hey. happened once? What's happened recently is a result of any number of things. Not well, the least it, of which was the COVID pandemic, which your dear Trump did nothing about. Oh, that's an interesting. Oh, thing. here you're gonna I go with the. Yeah, no, he did. I would. I wish I would have bookmarked this. Uh, oh yeah, and, yeah. I wish you would have stuff and what he did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it talks about what he did for the environment and. COVID. And let me ask you this: Where yeah. did you get this information? Uh, this is from the White House. Which White House? The Trump White House. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, do you yeah. think do you think that your uh, that that the uh, white the current White House would say uh, you know the truth about? Uh, do you think that Trump, Trump would say the truth about things? Hmm. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. But this one wouldn't. Biden wouldn't. No. Not. not, Biden, not Biden's a, not an honest man, but Trump is. Well, I'm not going to say he's not an honest man. I'm going to say that the people that are controlling him probably aren't honest. Why don't you give me a headache, and, Phil? And uh, give me a headache. Yeah, let's see what else we got here. Uh, great health care. Great health care? Yeah. Where, where'd you come up with that one? Well, from Trump. Uh, How, let's what, see. Great health from Trump. Yeah. Well, okay. Great health care for America. He empowered American patients uh, 
by greatly expanding health care choice, transparency, and affordability. That's his opinion uh, that that's improving yes. it. What he did was he tried to gut Obamacare. No, he eliminated the Obamacare individual mandate, uh, and uh, he increased choice by promoting competition amongst individual health insurance companies. He, uh, under the Trump administration, more than 90% of the uh, counties have multiple options. He, he offered association okay, health why, why plan. Why don't you give up on Trump? Because he's not running for president. Uh, well, not this week. No, he's not running for president. Yeah. He's not going okay. To. Well, if you if you don't want to talk about Trump, what happens if the Justice Department indicts him? Well, they're crooked. Oh, you see. Okay, they're crooked. But how about the last one under Bill Barr? Crooked. Oh, really? Yeah, ru- Russian disinformation. And, uh, you know, what that you, had to Russia, be what it was. Wait a minute, Russian disinformation? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it came off uh, that, that uh, laptop. And, uh, you know, they, they call it Russian disinformation. What's Russian but, disinformation? Yeah, Hunter Biden's laptop. That's what oh, the Oh, God, said. here we go. <laughs> That's here what the we FBI go. Said. His stolen laptop, I see. Oh, yes, okay. yes. All well, right. it wasn't stolen. He, he abandoned it. You know, and uh, no, he, he left and you know what happened to that uh, laptop. I, I, I think he left. And it uh, you know, they, they call it Russian some... disinformation. Oh, oh, uh, is that you? Do something here. Yeah, Hunter Biden's laptop. That's what oh, the. Oh God! Here, here we go. Yes, that you were making. His stolen laptop. I see. Yes, yes. Well, it wasn't stolen. He he abandoned it. You know, and I don't know what happened to that laptop. I think he left. There we go. Loop side. Oh, yeah. Okay, you got it. All right. Yeah, it's, it's, well, it's, you it's wanna... Wednesday, folks. After I did a lot of stuff here in the studio. And, yeah, and this is the pay, this is the payback you get for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I had you... enough problems with one of you hearing two, and then three, and then four of you was kind of good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you mentioned the Trump shirt, and it was clean, so I put it on. And and Tony did send it to me, so I, I thought it was it was nice. Of Tony's him to do. a moron too. <laughs> Everybody's a moron. Hey, um, you know New York is getting to be a dangerous place. Uh, you had uh, some guy. You remember across the street from Camel, there was Pier Thirty Nine, yeah, and there was a thing called Whack a Mole. You yeah. can go in and, you, yeah. and you, you hit the mole with a hammer and it yeah. would pop up from different places. Yeah. Well, in New York, they've got now slap a cop. Uh, the, had you seen the, the news? I guess the cops were trying to arrest uh, an individual uh, that uh, I believe he, he hit he hit the cop. And uh, so they tried to arrest him and it, it uh, turned into a melee between uh the arrestee and two other cops. Where did this whole, where did that story come from? How did well, I'm talk, I was uh, talking about New York, and I was going to not only mention the subway stuff that's going on, but also the New York governor being attacked. And according to N- MSNBC, it was with a keychain, but uh, it was actually the some New sort York of New York governor. Yeah, well, the New York. Uh, uh, Zeldin, the guy who's running for governor. No, the but guy who's will be running to run for governor. Yeah, well, he'll probably be the governor. I think he's got a, a, a good chance of doing it. No. No, not in this state. Yeah. No. Well, you know, I, when... Uh, you got to be a pretty liberal Republican to win in this state. You mean like Pataki? Hmm? Yeah. Was Pataki liberal? Was Pataki a Republican? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he was. Uh, he he was a Republican, but yeah, but you've got to be liberal to win in New York. I mean, you got to be liberal at least in your general politics. You, know? you don't think people are getting tired of uh, uh, all sorts of uh, people shooting up in the subways and uh, the people getting mugged and getting pushed in front of trains? I and, feel safe. Uh, get, well, yeah, because you never go out. No, but I feel safe. I don't. You know, yeah. I, I and the reason I don't go into the subways isn't because of that the reason i don't go in the subways is because of covid being you know the resurgence of covid and uh you know this uh, new surge of omicron which is uh a little bit worse than the last one you know so well aren't you uh, immune at this point no no you don't get immune it's t- it turned out that even if you have even see if you have uh let's say i i got covid but it wasn't the current strain of Omicron, I'm not immune. Hmm. 
If I get that one, then I'm immune to that one, but then the next one will come along. Yeah. Well, I don't think that you can hide from it. You look at President Biden. Well, I'm trying. Yeah. But, but, you know, look at Biden. You know, he he was probably one of the most careful people uh, throughout the COVID pandemic mm -hmm. uh, to stay away from people, not get COVID, mask up, uh, yeah. take the, uh, the shots. Yeah. And yeah. what does he get? COVID. Well, I think he let his guard down a little bit. I, I don't think he was wearing a mask in uh, in Saudi Arabia. For instance, yeah. As an example, uh, do do you think uh, Harris uh, uh, kind of got some spittle on him? Well, you know, yeah. it could be any one of a number of things that, that gave it to him, but he got it, and uh, uh, you know, most people are getting it who never got it. I got it, and I hadn't had it. I managed to avoid it for how how long? You uh, know, yeah, at least two years. Two and a half years. So, yeah. you know, I mean, uh, it, 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 people get it now. It just, it's just happening because everybody's letting their guard down. And, and my problem is getting it from somebody else. So I just make sure I wear a mask. I mean, I had three basic medical appointments in the last week. Can you believe yeah. that? I'm, I'm catching up with Marjorie. <laughs> um, I, I had, uh, I had a, a a neuro neurologist, my neurologist, yeah, who uh, told me that I have, uh, what is it, uh, uh, positional vertigo. Okay, that's yeah. for one. Then I go, I went to my regular doctor to show him all the stuff that happened at the hospital. You know, uh, you know, they made a movie about that vertigo. Yeah, no, I was just watching it this evening. <laughs> Uh, Alfred. And getting very dizzy watching it, by the way. No. <laughs> anyway, so I uh, and then uh, I uh, I went to my uh, my uh, g general practitioner. My he's actually he's actually a heart, uh, what do you call it a heart doctor, mm -hmm. but he is also does a general practice. And so I go to him, and went to him with all the stuff that had happened at the hospital and the, and so on. And he said, it all looks pretty good. He said, even those nodules on your lungs don't look like they're anything serious. But he said, we'll do another cat. We'll do another CT scan in, uh, in about six months just to make sure that they're not doing anything. He said, but the rest of your th stuff looks fine. He said, and uh, I'm looking at the heart stuff and it looks great. Okay. You know, and uh, then, um, but I, I didn't, uh, I didn't, uh, I told my, my neurologist, I said, they tested me for everything. He said, not everything, sit down. And he, what he did is he did a test on me. It took about a half hour to test the blood flow to my brain. Wow. You know, which could present, you could see some problems there, right? Yeah, wow. you, have, uh, you can have, uh, what do they call that thing where you have to put a stent in yeah. uh, be, uh, because people aren't getting enough blood right, flow to the brain? Right, right. Well, uh, apparently I'm getting enough blood flow to the brain. So. That's okay. And then I went to the dentist, and she only found one cavity. Well, that's good. Did, and I, did, was, I uh, thought I was going to come out having to spend thousands upon thousands of dollars. You know? Well, did she put the implant in yet? What implant? Uh, aren't you getting an implant uh, in one of your tooth? No. Teeth? I already have implants in my teeth. Oh, okay. Um, but I, what I did ask her for is I, I need a new crown back here because this one's falling apart. And I just said, I'd like to do it. It's just getting uncomfortable, you know. So yeah. that was my call, you know, not hers. So. Oh, very nice. Well, I thought you liked this dentist, and uh, she's she's fine. You know, she's a good practitioner, uh, and I, you know, I like her. I like her. She's yeah. okay. Hey, uh, you and Brian were talking about TikTok on Monday, mm -hmm. and I was listening to a Joe Rogan podcast, and uh, he was interviewing a guy, and they were talking about TikTok. And they were reading the agreement that you sign when you sign up for TikTok. He was actually reading the agreement and what privacy you're giving up when you uh, when you sign up for it. And uh, do you know that uh, the the company that owns TikTok? I, I forgot what the name is. Like Sun. Now Young. you're believing Joe Rogan. Go ahead. Well, no, well, the guy was reading straight from the agreement. He had his iPhone in front of him, and he was reading straight from the agreement. And uh, the amount of information that the Chinese government garners on uh, the 
the people that sign up for TikTok mm -hmm. is is so intrusive. Well, wait a minute, uh, wait a minute, Phil. Phil they they Phil, get your keystrokes. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to take your right wing approach to this argument. Uh, okay. All right. Hey, you don't have to sign it. You no, don't, I understand. You don't, you don't have to use TikTok. How many times did you sign up for something? You don't read the the fine print. You just hey, click OK. Uh, you, uh, to do you a, know to see what you let, sign let me, up? Me, what you sign to do? Use Facebook will curl your hair. Right. Do you do you know how onerous this is? Not only do they monitor your keystrokes, but all of the programs that are on your phone are uh, are, are, uh, are sent down to this you know agency they get all your information they'll even get your phone number if you keep it on the phone your social security number your bank accounts your passwords all of that is fair play and that's the agreement that gets signed or agreed to I when never you signed any TikTok. I never signed any I didn't say you did I'm talking about how onerous TikTok is and but why my, but uh, 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 to begin with have you ever seen the agreement you should read for Apple have you ever seen it have you ever read it all the way through You'll never, no, you'll, I, never, I, even, nobody even, reads, you'll never even be able to scroll through all of it. Nobody them. reads that stuff. Well, and, then don't use the product. Then right. you don't have to sign the thing. Well, I think that your friend uh, Larry Brown has got something going on here because he ha he doesn't have to be he doesn't have to worry about being violated. I I was uh, talking I feel, to somebody. I don't feel violated. So. So. You know, well, he, I don't. Well, I, I I don't. I don't contribute programming to TikTok. Therefore, I don't right. have to sign one of those agreements. Right. I I had mentioned Brian, and you know his daughter is has used two of his accounts so far, <laughs> uh, his email accounts. Yeah. And you know, and I'm I'm a friend of Brian's. I I like Brian very yeah, much. Brian's daughter has been it was banned twice, right. from TikTok. <laughs> and and they've got a warning because she's so, a, she's a little kid she's like six okay and right. she has this little hoochie coochie dance she does so she yeah. does a little hoochie coochie dance and they take it off probably because she's that young but he it's his account yes okay. that's why i'm saying that all of that information your your bank account numbers your passwords i keep so much on my phone because i can't remember half of the stuff so I have to put it in the notes on the phone, and, uh, Phil, and I, so love, the, I love how everybody is so worried about their their uh, their personal information and all of that, like they're that fucking important. You know, it's an ego well, thing. It's an ego I, thing. I have. It's like Larry Brown says, "I don't care if somebody steals my identity. I have no life. Now they won't have one." Well, that's true. I understand. You know? But I, I have 39 cents in my checking account, and I want to keep it, you know? Uh, and yeah, but it, it, uh, it, has your, has your, has your uh, account been compromised? No. no neither but I'm mine. not on TikTok. Neither, Matter of fact, neither is I got mine. rid of Twitter. I got rid of uh, Instagram. I got rid of all of those other things. I do have Facebook because I communicate on it a lot. You and I? communicate on it mm -hmm. uh you know that's that's our you know main source of you, you don't want me to call on the phone god forbid i do that and <laughs> it would make your day no actually i do call on the phone but uh yeah, by the way somebody the, wrote here that governor pataki was yeah. pro-choice and he said i don't seems, i don't know he says that uh, seems pretty liberal to me that's uh well, a lot of people are yeah, pro-choice. Well, Charlie Wallace wrote that, and you'll be able right. to talk to him in a couple of minutes. No, yeah, yeah, I understand, but there's a ton of people that were pro-choice and still are, but are conservatives. You know, not everybody uh, uh, is is uh, mm -hmm. you know just pro-life. I mean, it doesn't have to be a left and a right, or or you know, just there's two roads to travel, and if you're on one, you're not on the other. Uh, you know, I I believed that uh, if a person wanted an abortion, they should have it. Uh, whether I would choose that for myself anymore is is probably not the case. But uh, other people have that well, right. Well, you would never do. need an abortion, Phil. Well, how do you know? Maybe I have a pronoun. Maybe uh, I'm him, her, 
uh, uh, it. You know, I told you my new theory, haven't I, about how yeah. we can solve this whole what sex are you thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when we die, we have our skeletal remains, okay? Now, at that point, if somebody digs you up and they want to find out what sex you are, they can pretty well tell by your skeletal remains. How about your DNA? No, but your skeletal remains. Forget yeah. DNA or anything else. Your skeletal yeah. remains, uh, you know, if you, had, if you suddenly became a woman and you got yourself breasts or you became a, and you cut off your penis, you know, whatever. That doesn't matter. Your skeletal remains have none of that. All right. Yeah. You're either male or you're female. So my thing is you just ask on the question form, what is your skeletal identity? Yeah. Yeah. And that's and that's your identity. Well, yeah. in talking about that, uh, they had a uh, they had a, a thing to see who would be most popular if Joe Biden didn't run again. And you had Pete Buttigieg had a, a certain amount of percentage, and you had Kamala Harris had a certain percentage. Do you know that Leah Thompson is more po the the trans swimmer at uh, Penn State is more popular than Kamala Harris? Really? Okay. <laughs> Holy <kidding>. kid! <laughs> but uh, you know, I I would think maybe he is. Was that a joke? Did you? Did you yeah, did, yeah, it was a joke. You were just saying that was a joke. Oh, okay. I just, I'm glad. Yeah, I, I'm glad you told us it was a joke, so that we, we let's all write that down, folks. That was a well, joke. Okay. If, if he I, runs, he might win. Who, yeah. Oh. Uh, so uh, anyway, that uh, that was uh, that was uh, most of what I had was the keychain, the subway, they say, they TikTok. Say, they, okay. They say that what? Uh, yeah. But they say that what's happening is that. By the time uh, a lot of this information comes out, there's no way Trump can get elected president. You know that, but I—I I, I don't I, think he's going to run. The guy in Florida might uh, have a good shot. DeSantis. I think God, Gavin Newsom would have a good shot. Only in California. Well, no, that's because you sure. don't like Newsom. But I think not at all. I think if he goes up against, say, a Trump, or even goes up against that guy in Florida, uh, he comes well, across. He ha he has. There's, there's a certain thing about, you know, in, in elections today that has to do with your pre the way you present yourself and how you look. It's, it's good hair. It's very important. And, well, and Newsom has all of that, plus he's a good speaker and he's good at, at, at expressing what he feels about stuff and so on. I think he would have a good shot. Okay, look at it this way. How many presidents since, uh, and including Jack Kennedy, had good hair you had Kennedy then you had Johnson but Johnson got in because Kennedy died right. uh, but who did Johnson run against he runs ran against Goldwater what kind of hair did Goldwater have I think Goldwater had a good bunch of hair I don't think so hmm. I don't think so right. but, uh, oh, and, and, Ray, okay Reagan had great hair Reagan yeah great hair Jimmy Carter he had yeah, hair great hair yeah. Yeah. and uh, then uh, Clinton Clinton great hair all right. Yeah, terrific. Hair. And uh, so. And then Bush. Bush had good hair. Bush had yeah good hair. And of course Obama had Both terrific Bushes. hair. Terrific. Obama. Hair. Yeah. Yeah. Had hair. So I think that hair is a very important part of being elected president. Well, a comb but over. But a has comb good hair. A comb over doesn't count. Well, uh, yeah. If if you a can do it, it counts. A comb over in nobody in nobody's in nobody's idea. Is a is a good idea, you know. Yeah. Nobody's but, is a good idea. I don't yeah. know what I'm saying. I'm I'm just I I'm I have positional vertigo. Leave me alone. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, you say that DeSantis uh, would lose in a in a race against um, Gavin Newsom. Yeah. I don't think so. I think I Gavin don't think he's Newsom very likable. I don't. His problem is he does, he's not very likable. Really, yeah. I like him. <laughs> Uh, you, well, and, of course, because you're a moron. But that, you well, know. Hey, look, the guy went to Harvard. He went to West Point. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he's well, apparently um, he went to Harvard and didn't learn anything. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, he was a Navy SEAL too. Really? And, oh, that's wonderful. You know, the the, the guy, you know, listen, he barely won. He barely won one for governor in Florida. He, yeah, but you know what? I think that the guy in Florida, people don't want him to run for president because they don't want to lose him as a governor in Florida. 
Come on. Uh, come but on. I, come if, on. When if, he if, ran for governor of Florida, he just made it by a gnat's ass. Yes, okay. that's true. That's true on the first election. But now that he has shown what he's made out of, I don't. I I think he'll win in a landslide. What he's made out of? What's he made out of? Oh yes, uh, he crap. He's a stand-up guy. Crap. He's a stand-up guy. Oh, he's a he stand-up guy. He yep. didn't let some company like Disney walk all over the people, you know. And uh, oh, he's he opened die. up his state. Let me, let me die uh, here now. You know. Yeah. <laughs> you know something? He, he I got to tell you something, Phil. I'm yeah. going to tell you something. Yeah. Well, listen to me. I, I I saw a thing that, that Neil deGrasse Tyson did about what you know. Uh, what happens when you die? And it, he, what, what it really was, was a thing about you shouldn't be afraid of dying. You should appreciate the fact that you've lived. That's okay? true. And that he showed what the percentage was of, of chances of you being born into this whatever. Okay. Especially America. It's like you won the lottery. But being born. He, yeah. He said, you won the the biggest lottery ever and you got to spend your life here on earth okay and, and even in if, the united and, states and if eventually you die you had that and that while you're here you should do everything you possibly can to do good yeah and and he and he's and really you know i don't think how you can spend your time even backing somebody like a Trump who, who really doesn't want to do good by anybody. He has no politics. Hold on a second, Phil. He has no politics. He never has had any politics. Well, he, that's, is, uh, that's he is what, only into the politics of self. And, that's what the media uh, that is trying to defeat him would have you believe, and you're falling for it lock, stock, no, and barrel. No, I'm not falling for it. I'm observing it, Phil. Yeah, I'm well, observing. You're observing, I'm you're observing, observing a totally what they want self, you to know. You just in these hearings about the way he acted under certain circumstances, so totally self-obsessed human being who only cared about himself. You know, well, if he cared about the people around him, he wouldn't have gotten them into the pickle they got into. Well, I you know? I think that uh, what happened if if you uh, uh, read the article, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, at Cash Patel. Uh, uh, spoke of that he authorized the National Guard and it was Pelosi, uh, the Capitol Police and Muriel Bowser that refused them. I think that these people set up Phil, you believe this shit fixed. because you find something and then you want to believe it and then that's the only thing you go by. Well, I, well you don't want to believe anything that's contrary to no, the... No, the, the, you no. Know, I'm, I'm willing to listen to, to all the good things that Trump has done and then vomit after you've given me that list. Okay, I tell you what, I'm going to scan it and send it to you. Good, because I'm not going to read it. Well, you know, I know that it's uh, it might be a little. Oh wait bit a minute, hold on. Yeah, it's 51 you know, pages. I, I've been talking with you alone for too long here. Yeah. Let, let okay. Me, let me let these other. Kill people, me off. Well, there are only two more people here anyway, so. Yeah. You know, uh, one of them is Charlie. And, yeah, uh, and, and the other one is the purveyor of Bitcoin uh, that uh, donated the Bitcoin. So yeah. maybe you need to rename this half hour, Alex, to Bill's Conspiracy Theories. <laughs> and anybody that can prove one of them correct, you'll send them a $25 Starbucks gift card. No, yeah. no, just give them the Bitcoin. <laughs> Hmm. Alan said, "Alan said I'd be a Bitcoin millionaire, a billionaire, or uh, whatever they're worth." Charlie, you've listened to Phil in this last half hour because I noticed you've been there. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you've had a few things to say. Yeah, yeah, Phil is dead wrong. Nancy Pelosi hmm. has no control over the National Guard. Yes, Chuck Schumer has no control over the National Guard. Mayor Bowser has no control over it. The only person that controls the National Guard in Washington, D.C. is the President of the United well, States. Well, I, I got news for you. Uh, Google it's, it, Bill. It's, Google it. Yeah, well, I did Google it. That's, that's where I got this article. No, you did. Just Google it on your phone right now. Never mind that bullshit that you just oh, printed man. off from some bogus. Mayor <laughs> Bowser has no control over it. The only person that's, that the National Guard, Washington. Wait a minute, hold on a second, uh, John. You got to kill your audio. 
kill, yeah. kill yeah. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. I did it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Keep going, Charlie. Yeah. You and well. You must have been playing baseball the day that uh, I heard uh, Pelosi and Bowser saying they didn't need the National Guard. No, they never said they didn't need but it. Back then they, then they, the then they had them afterwards. Then they had them come stay in a parking structure for six months in the cold. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 John. Yeah, they've already debunked that lie that uh, that the Fox News and Trump has been going on about. Where they're saying that, oh, you know, I we authorize Trump authorized ten thousand troops. Well, the guy, well, yeah, well, it was twenty thousand. First it was ten, then it's twenty thousand. Well, the guy that they put under oath said it never happened, and now he oh. goes back on Fox News. Yeah, Christopher M Miller, he goes back on Fox News and says, yeah, Trump uh, authorized ten thousand well, troops to be you know, there. But John, but, let me finish it. Can I finish? Maybe okay. if you were if you were telling the truth. Well, hey, I am hey, hey, Phil, Phil, please right. let I him say what God. he's got to say. The guy under oath said, no, it did not happen. Trump did not authorize any troops to be there. Then he goes on Fox News six months later and says, oh, yeah, sure. With that other goon, uh, Cash Patel. They're liars, Phil. Wake All right. up. Get in I, your you brain. Know, You're I, I remember... I remember the uh, that they that they turned down the troops. It was twenty thousand troops. They never and by the way, offered them. Phil, you're un, un, crazy. Okay, it says here under the law, the president can't order the deployment of the military for use inside the United this. States. Look at the law. Hey, hey, you, you don't want to get interrupted? Don't interrupt me. Uh, it's, hey, it's, let's uh, be nicer, it's, Phil. Let's just be okay. nicer. So, uh, Patel at the time said... I want this uh, to be more January like the Monday 6th, show. Uh, okay. Uh, Patel was the chief of staff and the an acting defense secretary, Chris Miller. Now, what I'm in... Uh, John, what I'm saying is Alex says that these people aren't under oath. So, if Chris Miller uh, testified, th they weren't under oath, uh, according to Alex, on this January 6th thing so if you say okay. they're under oath no, I, didn't you're say, I didn't say that phil they i didn't say anything under of oath. the sort yeah. no, you, you can lie on fox news you cannot lie under oath to the congress are and that's, these that's the difference i don't i don't believe that any of those people were sworn in on they the were. January they, they are all they sworn are, in. They wait a minute wait a minute phil, uh, phil whenever they speak in front of a congressional committee they are sworn in yes charlie mm -hmm. And nobody who has been sworn in under oath has ever said that Donald Trump called in the National Guard. Nobody has ever said that under oath. That's because they didn't want to hear from anybody. They didn't want to hear from anybody that uh, that knows the truth. Uh, according to according to this, Miller said the president was just doing what I expect the commander in chief to do. Any commander in chief. He was looking at the broad threats against the United States and brought up the idea of the troops on his own. Uh, and it was uh, during that meeting that uh, General Milley was at as well. Hmm, let me get rid of uh, uh, Phil, interesting, Phil, interesting article from Fox Phil, News. Phil, General Milley stated that Trump did not have anything to do with requesting troops. It was Pence who, who was requesting the troops. And then Meadows... Then Meadows called and said, uh, "Hey, let's uh, we got to change the scenario. We want to make sure that uh, that that it, it, that you know we want to make sure that it looks like Trump was the one in charge on January sixth. Uh, this and not was January, January 3rd that yeah. he requested. No, well that he authorized. He authorized if it was requested. He's not allowed to send the troops. He can only." authorize the them one that can send them nobody else can not not yeah. according not according to yeah, not uh not, ac oh, not according to fox news not according yeah. to this right left <laughs> right wing uh well you know maybe uh Mill you, that you look got it up. this out of I can he, show you he, he did he did look it up charlie has looked, looked it up charlie knows you know yeah. what why doesn't you know when, when trump goes under oath when, when he's subpoenaed and in, in his uh when he's after he's indicted then we can see what he has to say okay 
more yeah. lies. Yeah. Get somebody up there. They'll listen to anybody. anybody yeah, well, Jan the January 6th committee is just a kangaroo court. Oh, and, it's not. Uh, no, it's, it's a not. kangaroo court. They, they have, they have, it's not even a court because they have no authorization to ah! prosecute anybody. And they the can't prosecute ah! anybody. <laughs> They're Republican. What do you want? That's just what I said. That's just what I said, Larkin. You just proved me right. Phil, Phil, what, what Phil, did, what, the Republicans what? were. That they can't uh, prosecute. Said they're not a court. Hold on, Phil. Hold on, and turn your mic down because you're overpowering everybody. Sorry, it's not a court. Here's the thing. And they're not prosecuting anybody. Phil, to begin with, you're right. It isn't isn't a court. And secondly, the Republicans were invited to give a larger amount of Republicans to this committee, and the Republicans wouldn't let them. The they only wouldn't one... take Johnson. They wouldn't take Grassley. No, they, uh, they, they, they said They I wouldn't said, take. I don't uh, think they didn't say they wouldn't take them. Yeah, they, they wouldn't take any of them. No. They, they said no. that they would take. Do you know any the, of you know that to be true? people that voted hold on, hold on a second. Do any of you know that to be true? No, they wouldn't take uh, Jordan and they wouldn't take um, Barry uh, because those guys were both involved in the uh, cover-up. Ah, exactly. uh, yes, yeah. yes. They're going to be prosecuted. You in know? other words, you, they, oh, so they're they're guilty and until there are a it. lot of other Republicans, Phil, that they could have presented to these people and gotten on that committee. Okay, but they, they, they didn't. did. They didn't want any of them. No, they just no, wanted it, Jordan on there. And who else it, was the other name? Yeah. Ones that would actually fight for the truth. Yeah, it was. It was originally going to be a non-political thing. It was going to be all, you know, bipartisan without people yeah. that are even in government. Got a know. movie producer. They got a movie producer to set that thing up. You telling me that I'm it was going to be nonpartisan and non-political? What, what movie producer to set what, they, what they, thing? Up? They, they got the, some news guy that yeah. Uh, yeah, produced. You, you know what that? You know what that 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 documentary had in it? Absolutely nothing, Phil. Well, they tried. They tried to make it. Uh, it was a... produced by TikTok, Phil. Yeah, really. Are you talking about the British documentary? No, I'm talking about the guy who, who is producing the actual <laughs> uh, hear, uh, hearing. Well, good. That's fine. We're getting the information out, and they're doing a great job. No, 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 no. It's all one-sided. Well, you know it's what? It's only one-sided because the Republicans allowed it to be that way. Yep. Period. And oh, and sure. when Trump's indicted and he's on the stand, he can have all the defense he wants. He oh yeah, because that would be a court. That wants. would be a court of law. Yes. Yeah. I mean, Charlie. And that's gonna be a court of law. <laughs> Charlie. There's a difference between being on the committee and actually being able to speak to the committee. And Jim Jordan, Chuck Grassley, any Republican out there is perfectly willing, and perfectly acceptable to come speak to the committee as long as they get under oath. They will right. not do it. Right. Jim Jordan exactly. refuses to be sworn in under oath and then testify toward the, the local right. about how yeah, he's yeah. not getting the truth out. He has a chance to do it if it's the truth. And, yep. and and where did you hear this? Where did I hear what? It's in the news every day. Oh yeah, yeah. They're welcome okay. to testify. They can they can testify <laughs> if they want. Yeah, and Alan will our, testify. What why doesn't uh uh Mark Meadows testify? You know, they requested him. He said no. Why did Bannon? Why did Bannon turn him down? You know, well, they have good they're reason. Scared. Yeah, they're scared. They're no, they, they, they don't, don't want their rights violated. They don't want their rights violated. Well, <laughs> anyway. oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. The Republicans don't want their rights violated. Oh, how horrible. No, yeah. he, I mean, Phil, Phil, hold it down a little bit, please. Uh, okay. The fact of the matter is that uh, that that these people, the Republicans, were invited to put more people on that committee. Uh, they wouldn't accept people that perhaps would ha be uh, in question as to their uh, ability to to do, to do this, because they were people who would probably sometimes be called by the committee to talk about it. You know, so I mean, there they were. Uh, what, what what happens when you recuse yourself? They should have recused themselves. Jordan should be recused because he doesn't. He's he's too closely involved with the incident. Okay. Yep. And in fact, I think he didn't he talk to Trump on the phone or something or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yep. about this. So yep. you you don't want people who are culpable 
to be on the committee, but certainly there are a lot of other Republicans there they could have put on that committee to do that job. And I, I believe that anybody that voted to impeach should be recused from that committee because well, uh, that, well, they, they have a bias. All you I'm know? saying is, Phil, that the Republicans had an ample opportunity to get more people on that committee and they turned it down. Not, not according to the news I hear, Charlie. Well, the news oh, you on. hear is not the news. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, uh, uh, Alan. Alan. Uh, uh, we, we, uh, we have one Repu Now we have two people on the show that are Republican. We have one uh, Republican. One a wait a minute. We have one Republican with a high IQ that's a mess. And that's Phil. And then we got mm -hmm. one Republican with a low IQ that's still a mess. At and point five. Uh, Sorry, what? You, talk, you, you calling Alex oh, a Republican? No. No, I, I think said Tony's Al and Tony. I'm sorry if I said <laughs> Alex. Al and Tony. Uh, <clears throat> oh, oh, by the way, Tony, thank you for the uh, the dish rag. He sent me a T-shirt that is anti-Biden. Now, what is he, he? And 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 Phil says you should you should wear it. Tony sent it to you. Wear it on the on the show. I'm like, no. I am. However, a, however, you do a have a, you, you do have a car, don't you? Me? Yeah, I can always clean the yeah, tires. Yeah, well, I'm saying you right? can clean the tires, wax with it, you know. Right, right. Uh, Perfect. Right. Thank you, Tony. It's don't, nice. don't ruin the car that way. Uh, hey, hey, that's what you, that's you what said. Alex you send me one of those, hat. Tony. I'm going to find out from Shecky <laughs> where you live, and I'm going to come get you. I know not to send you that. <laughs> oh, I have his. I have his. I have his address because Amazon d delivers to him. Oh yeah. Oh hey, yeah, I, I I warned them not to talk politics with Shecky. I never talk politics to anybody. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. right. Except this show. <clears throat> you know oh. what I found funny in the news today? Can I change the topic quickly? Yes, sure. please. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Everybody else does. Go on. You know, Joe Biden gave such an impassioned speech about anti-guns, right? But we're going to trade the arms dealer for the hoops player. The Russian's arms dealer. He's offering him up for the basketball player. Well, some guy called so-and-so the murderer. Yeah. 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 If that was me in jail or you, Alex, they tossed the key away. And in your case, they'd have a perfect right to. Yeah, they'd say lynch him already. What are we waiting for? <laughs> hey, Tony would lose the key himself. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be like... Put it in the cage. Well, gentlemen. I think that the big story that, of course, nobody wants to bring up here, and, and, and uh, obviously uh, Phil doesn't care about <laughs> it, is the fact that the Russians say they're getting out of the space station in 2024, uh, which means everybody invest in SpaceX, and I'm going to tell you why. Why is that? Because the only way we're going to get our astronauts up there to hang out in the space station, which will now be ours, okay, uh, is by uh, sending them up using SpaceX. So SpaceX is going to, because we don't have any way to get them up there. Jeff Bezos has got a rocket. It doesn't go. It doesn't way. even get up to uh, yeah. the low, it get only gets to the low atmosphere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, then he'll hand it off to the post office and they'll deliver it the last mile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying that, that I think that we're going to find uh, Bezos really being a prime supplier to the United States to get astronauts to the space station. Ferry you mean, back. You mean, uh, uh, not Bezos. Uh, uh, his, Musk. Yeah, you, you had to confuse me with bringing up Bezos and his stupid so little rock. <laughs> and, 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 and Virgin money. Galactic. They it, they got one. So you know? got, that's not a, a couple that's, years. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That, that's not a spaceship. Virgin thing. It was a balloon? No, it's an airplane, basically. It's a glider. It's a glider. Yeah. Yeah. This is, and this is and Bezos' thing penis. is just a giant penis he launches every now and then. <laughs> you know, the. You know, the which uh, looks a lot like the penis that is the logo for Amazon. Right, this guy exactly. is obsessed. Exactly. He's obsessed. So, so save your nickels because SpaceX is not publicly traded yet. No, too bad because. Um, Quite frankly, I think this is going to be a big windfall. For They're them. working on it. The, uh, Elon Musk said the other day, probably a couple more years out. So. Yeah. Hey, Phil, but, did you invest in Trump's uh, Truth Social? Uh, you know, uh, I actually got um, 
I, I pushed a button to sign up for it and it yeah. wasn't through the proper app channels and a bunch of Chinese writing started coming on. So I, I think I got my phone got hacked or uh, and, and some, sort of, yeah. some sort of thing. Okay. And okay. I gave up on it. Oh, no, and no, it's no. now allowing Tony's messages every day. Uh, <laughs> let, let, me, let me bring Brian in here a second. Uh, Brian, we were talking uh, about your, your uh, TikTok account being canceled. <laughs> yeah, and right when I turned it on, Tiffany was right there, so I let her listen. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys make me famous. Yeah. Are you afraid that you're 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 being compromised because TikTok has all that information? No, I no. The the only thing that I worry about is just my money. I don't care about my identity and what I do and all that stuff. My friends and my pictures and my cars and all that stuff. I don't yeah. care about that. What are they going to do with all that stuff? But I do care about, you know, any bank account stuff, any of my money, but I they don't have any of that stuff. I don't. I, yes, I don't, they do. No, I do how, no, how bank, do no, they don't, Phil. Uh, you can, you can, no you can write a, pa phone. you can make I passwords. No, no passwords know. on my phone ever. Yeah. Well, that's you, Alan, because. <laughs> You I don't, don't have, have a life, life either. Well, uh, Brian, what do you do to protect your accounts? What do you mean? What do I do? Turn well, you said you off. you know they can't they can't hack into your accounts. What do you do to protect your accounts? Oh no no, I just said that's the only thing I would worry about is my money. I don't care about my accounts. I don't care about my Facebook, my Instagram. Oh, I'm talking, but I'm talking about your bank. Your accounts. bank account. Yeah, I just go through all the normal stuff. You go through yeah. all the protections they have. Yeah. Including, yeah. Uh, do you do two two factor authorization? Yes. Okay. And we do that through work also. The yeah. Okay. Alex, how many how many uh, uh, passwords have you had over the years? One. Right. Me, it's almost the same thing. You know, sometimes. Well, actually, I've had more than that, but I have. They make you change them, and it's and but, it's a real pain. Yeah, and I I have a pattern for that, and I have a. I have a piece of paper that has them, but I don't say the whole thing. I have certain, you know, I have an abbreviation that makes me remember what it is. So, <laughs> yeah. But I, I've never, you know, I've never had anything compromised. But how often do you change cards? Them? Oh, yeah. Jeff, go ahead. I don't change it that often. I don't know if I, have I ever had a credit card compromised? <clears throat> Maybe oh, yes, you may did. When? In, in Hong Kong, some guy was playing. Thank God, Phil remembers on this. on your credit card. Oh, no, 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 no. That wasn't a credit card. That was a. PayPal. Uh, a, a so Brian, that, they, they, they were using guess. trying to use my pay. They used my PayPal to pay for some kid to buy video games or something. So all I had to do was complain <laughs> to PayPal, and they complained to the merchant, yeah. and all of it was taken care. Of. I, I Wait a minute. Wait, can I finish? Please, I was Bill on the show. Please, uh, I uh, and so I uh, uh, just got a hold of PayPal. PayPal took care of it beautifully, you know, yeah. and got a hold of the merchant. The merchant said, "We're sorry this happened," <laughs> and uh, how the person got into my PayPal account, I have no idea. But we changed the passwords and we did a few other things, and uh, I've never been compromised again. Oh. Yes, I Alan. Have. Yes, Alan. So, so um, there's there's software out there called password managers. I don't do that. And well, that's okay. I'm just gonna I'm gonna tell everybody, including Brian, what it is. But Brian probably already knows what it is. But you come up with one hard to remember password. You got to remember that, and it saves all your passwords for you. And when you go online, you know, and it protects your passwords too. <laughs> if you forget the password manager's master key. You're screwed, but so mm -hmm. anyhow. Yeah, but Many you're times. also screwed. It's you're a way also, to protect you're your also screwed. Here's the other place you're screwed. All these places work on using the cloud. And let's say their particular company goes down or your computer goes to your your internet goes down. You're locked out of everything. <laughs> you know, I I have if gone you go shopping. to filmmeyer .com, you'll be fine. Yeah, I have gone <laughs> shopping uh, at Nordstrom's, for instance. I bought some underwear. Then uh, a few hours later, there were hundreds of dollars of charges at another Nordstrom's in Southern California, uh, and and that was a fraud. Then I've had <clears> other <throat> charges. But, but that, show they up. weren't compromising you. What they probably did is they went in and hacked Nordstrom's. Yes, Brian. 
The one thing I do though is about at least every other day I check my accounts. Yeah. I mean, I'm very, very, very anal about making sure you know that I know. So every you know, <clears throat> sometimes it's hard because if you get something through PayPal. Sometimes I'll see like a charge for thirty-eight dollars, and I gotta yeah. remember what the hell was that? Because yeah. sometimes I buy that stuff, so I gotta remember. So I go yeah. in my account and I put a memo when I do buy those, so from whatever it is, put the memo there. So when I go back through that, but I'm pretty religious about going through my account. So if mm-hmm. something is yeah. compromised, yeah. I know within at least two days. Uh, Brian, have you ever been get worse, Brian? Have you ever had no. somebody no. charge? No, the only thing that happened recently was when I was stupid. I used Zeal, the Zeal or Zeal. Zeal, Zeal. Uh, yeah, Zeal, and I did it through my bank account because they said, "Do you want to pay through something?" And I did it through there, trying to get a gas tank for my car, and and that guy was a scam. So like four hundred mm-hmm. bucks. So yeah. So yeah, but then yeah, I learned. But, but that was like that, I said, Alex PayPal. All my friends said, "No, no, no, do PayPal." But, but that, know well, that wasn't that PayPal. wasn't your fault. Right, right, right. You know, right. It was it was the fact that you zell you zelled somebody you trusted. Yeah. And when you well, zell I, somebody, yeah. they get cash is put directly into their account. So yeah, you can't <laughs> you can't protest a zell. I don't use any I, of those kinds of things, but I I did, and I did through also through Patelco because that's how I sort of you know, in my Patelco account it said, "Do you want to use that zell?" And uh, I even tried to. I do through there and they they put the le- uh, email through but they said the they telco do. and mother's maiden name and the last four your social is fuck you <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah john larkin had his hand up yes john yeah, did you hear about uh, that person got robbed uh, at gunpoint and they made them transfer money from their uh venmo to the robbers oh. account <laughs> really yeah i read that it was just happened recently wow you, you know, the other thing that they're doing is they're uh, following people home that wear expensive watches, either from shopping or, uh, uh, you know, I'm... I'm Nordstrom about... buying underwear, they follow those guys, too. No, they just you. took my credit card information. Who buys <laughs> underwear from they Nordstrom? They knew immediately. Yeah, anyone who has Nordstrom Phil stuff. Bought, Phil bought Nordstrom underwear because the pink was on sale. <laughs> salmon. It was salmon. Oh, wow. I, I, salmon. I wear Tommy Sorry. John's. <laughs> Tommy John's are the most comfortable underwear you can buy. Best deal on underwear is Costco. Oh. Oh, the uh, the whitey tighties. No, they got all kind. They got all kinds. They're yeah, but everybody looks at you funny when you try them on. Yeah. Yes. No, I mean, you know, like, Phil. Since since our equipment for, like, doesn't work, bears. Phil, you can wear women's underwear. It'd be fine. You know, I got an Oral B. Um. Toothbrush, you know. And finally, we need new, new. That's t- electric. What do you call it? Heads. T- heads. Uh, mm-hmm. heads. Do you know how much they cost at Costco for Gee. like it's, uh, seven, sixty bucks? Eight of them. Yeah. No, like sixty like bucks. Forty. Sixty. Yeah, forty bucks for six of them. No, sixty bucks. It's really? the razor blade mentality, just like my company. Yeah. We we actually let people it's lease electric. some of our big <laughs> systems because then we charge them for the cartridge. There. It, yeah. It's called the Kodak way, right? Charge nothing for yes, the, the razor blade. Um, razor blade. It's the razor blade. And charge theory, a fortune yeah. for the ink. <laughs> My Oral B brush was only seven bucks. Yeah, but that's for one. That's yeah, for but one. The, yeah, yeah. And I'm, you're, I'm, that's a, that's I'm getting like nine of them or something in you know. the past. You're supposed to change them every three months. Oh, really? Really? They say My I, have a, I have a, I have a, I use Sonicare. And the brushes are a little cheaper. No, they're not. They're exactly the same price as the ones for Oral B. Really? Yes. I've been getting them from Costco when they're on sale for about four bucks a piece. Yeah, no, I, I, they're the same price uh, for uh, for both. And you know, I have a, I have a Sonicare here. I switched over to the Oral B, but I do have. You like it better? I don't know. You know, I, I dentist. Huh? said that there's one that spins now oh really well that's the it. brush spins it, it's it's, it. a, it's bristles with trump's face on it yeah yeah instead of vibrating <laughs> no but no it's that you're talking about uh uh the oral b is that the oral b yeah but it doesn't go sonic. around it goes around then the hand the hand, the hand, the hand. Uh, okay because i have the sonic here it just vibrates yeah and well that vibration is enough to knock the plaque off your teeth <clears throat> not necessarily yeah, but anyway. I three times a year, and they still tell me it's not enough. 
so anyway, so anyway, uh, so nobody was interested in the space thing with the, with what we're going to do with our space station. Oh, I'm interested. What, what, what uh, Charlie? What do you think we? What, what do you think is going to happen? Well, I I think we, got, we have to do something to where we get our own ship. The U.S. has their own ship to take astronauts. How those, how those Russians that are up there already going to get back? Well, you know, uh, the uh, uh, what do you call it? The uh, Musk's company uh, is is in business with NASA. Absolutely. So a lot of their mm -hmm. rockets are cooperative things, and I think that what probably what they're going to do is just going to say to uh, uh, SpaceX. Hey, you take these people up, and we'll pay you to do it. You know, yep. uh, and since he's the only wow. one who can do it, because uh, he's not capable of it. Boeing, I think, is. They got a spaceship up to the space. They got one of their things up to the space station, but it wasn't manned. Okay. Aren't the Chinese coming up with something? They to, have a space uh, station. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the Russians are thinking of going into business with them on that space station. The problem is, according to what I heard, that the Russians don't necessarily want to do it because it's in, it's in the it's in too low Earth orbit, uh, and they want one that's higher. You know, but why? Uh, uh, why? I don't know. I don't know why. I'm, but well, I'm sure if Musk weapons. if Musk were to build a space station, which he, I'm sure is capable of doing. I bet it'd be really cool. I wouldn't be that that you know that uh, the flop joint that they have those people have sleeping the Trump in up T there. on it, huh? You know, the Tesla mm -hmm. has the Trump logo uh, on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, you know, it's a gold T. Yeah, but I think he could put, probably put one up there. I think Mr. Uh, T. What'd you I, say? I Phil? think Mr. I T? think uh, I think uh, Musk is capable of just about anything now when it comes to space. Yes, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I just had a, a question for Phil. Phil, do you wear that T-shirt in public? <laughs> no way. No way. I'll I'm wearing it now, and, you know, thousands of people are seeing it. I, I he's get, he's guys, getting, I, a Trump, he's getting a Trump bumper sticker for his car, or is yeah. it, it should just say, key me. Actually, I, I, I <laughs> mentioned that the other he's night, that, fire. you know, I, I'm not happy. This is Don't the first time that uh, you really can't wear this kind of stuff out in public. You can't put a Trump bumper sticker on your car. You can't even put a pro-police bumper sticker on your car because people will brake check you and they'll do all sorts of things uh, that, that are negative. And, and, it, and it's, that kind, it's that kind of divisiveness. Because it's a fascist un-American organization. What, uh, the Democrats? No, the Republicans. <laughs> I think I'm Monk and Brooklyn. Oh, I got, I got a good story. I was at the gay pride thing. Not that I'm gay, but not that there's anything wrong with that. It's you know. <laughs> <I'm really wrong. laughs> but there was a, a booth for the uh, log cabin Republicans, you know. Mm -hmm. And I was asking them. We'll go. I was saying, how can you guys be Republicans? Because you know everything that everything the Republicans stand for is anti-gay. And I don't know. I just couldn't understand it. How can they? How can well, you know something. Maybe I, your I, premise I, is wrong. You know, Bill is the chairman of the Walnut Creek uh, office of that, so ask him. <laughs> but, but I told you guys last week. Uh, her uh, Tiffany's aunt was here. She's a pro-Trump. Say so they, they <clears throat> we go down to L.A. for Fourth of July, mm -hmm. and they had like a little picnic, and she's sporting the Trump hat and the Trump shirt, and the, oh my God, all of them down there though they think Trump's. That's weird. Because, you know, I don't even want to ask her why. <laughs> I was at my family reunion last week. Out of the 60 people there, there was not one Republican, not yeah. one Trumpster. Lucky That's, you. And, uh, Mark, and it was and it was yeah, where? Was, it was really? where? Where was it? Was it was Lexington, Kentucky. Kentucky. Lexington, Kentucky. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, two, two, everybody two, came two Republican from senators. From they Maine, say right? that, 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 that there is a secret uh, kind of talking going on with the Republicans mm -hmm. where they're hoping against hope that Trump doesn't run <laughs> you know that, yeah. uh, that they in fact they're hoping that he gets indicted or something so he can't run yeah. and, and they, they say the Republicans are not happy with Trump but they're afraid to go against him yeah. Yeah. Well, look, look how many elections of the people that he supported that came from behind 
Phil. And uh, Phil. And Phil ended and, up getting nominated. And, and, and what were these elections, Phil? Nominations. No, yes, they were primaries. Right. And they were primaries yeah. that were it, with Republicans. Correct. Okay. And, so, and, and Republicans lately have gotten really stupid. Okay. They're, they're really voting against their own best interest. All right. Well, you'd like to believe that, but uh, they don't think so, and neither do I. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, I would support Herschel Walker. Uh, I oh, would Herschel Walker, Walker, he's a moron, up. Phil. He has got a brain in his goddamn and, and, head. And what has Warnock done for, for the state of Georgia? It doesn't Lock. matter. Lock. Herschel, uh, Walk, uh, what's his name? Herschel, Herschel Walker. Walker yeah. is a moron. Have you heard him? Yeah. He can't even put two words together in well, a I, sentence. I've heard him, and I think that that's, uh, that's a, a wrong attitude to have. Okay. Oh, really? You okay. don't like the sound of his voice. Oh, in, other words, in other words, somebody yeah. should not be literate. He's Phil. a lot more successful and a lot more literate than all of us. Bill, Bill, homework, homework. If you're on tomorrow night or next week, your homework is to bring something to class that Herschel Walker said that you believe. All right. <laughs> did, you, did you notice uh, that you know Trump and Pence were doing uh, competing speeches yesterday? Fox News covered 17 minutes of Pence's and none of Trump's. Yeah. That's how. Yeah, They're, I think I think the, a lot of Republicans are very worried about Trump being. They're getting sick of him. They've had enough. Yeah, but they I they're not so. ready to say it. That's the problem. Right. Yeah. yeah, he's yeah. still a kingmaker. No, 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 no he's no, not no. a kingmaker. No, no. King? only no, in no, his no. own bailiwick. He, he he. Let's see how many of these people. The, the fact is that there's a there's a large belief now. That the Democrats are going to do better than you could possibly believe in the fall yeah. elections. Yeah. That it in may fact, be in the Kremlin. Phil, I'm stating oh, of a, course a, the Kremlin <clears throat> favorite. You know, Trump was the was the Putin crony. Yeah, yeah. I, I heard More that he was uh, Putin Putin's slave. That yeah. little More slave collar to drag him around the Folsom yeah. Street. John's there. still reading the dossier. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's a funny image. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know, Trump being somebody's bitch at the Folsom Street Fair. That's a wonderful <laughs> image. I thought I thought that was cute. I saw a cartoon like this. In case people don't know yeah. what we're talking about, the Folsom Street Fair mm -hmm. takes place every year, year in San Francisco and uh, is uh, uh, just really, really gay. You know, they got the dikes on bikes. It's, 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 no, it's, uh, no, that's the game. I, I went, I went down there. I, I went down great. there one time in San Francisco, and I said, I don't think I'm coming back to this thing. You know, I can take a lot of things. I can put up, mm -hmm. watch a lot of stuff, but you know, a guy wearing assless chaps, yeah. who doesn't even fit into them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no, not, it's, not it's, one guy. It's not, it's not <laughs> my idea of a good time. I said, even if I were really gay i wouldn't want to have sex with that guy you know so. it used it used to be you know a, a lot of really hot women would go to it you know because it was it wasn't only uh the leather men it was the b, b what do they called s and m people yeah so, you know yeah you know, which, a lot of hot women John, what do they what do they call what do they call those uh girly boys or something girly men that republicans are, yeah, they men call that dress like women. The what? The uh, girly men or something? Uh, they have a lot of them in the Philippines. They uh, they're uh, oh, yeah, they, yeah. they look like. Check your browser. Uh, yeah. Check your browser. Those are my two. What? What browser? <laughs> your internet browser. Hey, I'll tell you one thing. I changed the subject. Mm -hmm. so I've been driving to Lodi funny. again like three days a week after COVID now. Yeah. And what I've been doing actually in the morning, 5.30 in the morning, I go on YouTube and you know, there's so many <laughs> out minute shows that, that these other guys have been posting lately. So I listen to a show while I'm driving up to Lodi. Other and guys are posting like, my shows? Yeah, there's a couple guys on here that, remember last well, time I told you there's one and there's another guy who just posted a few too. How much By do the they way, charge? From the old much? show, from the 90s? Yeah, from Is the it? old show. Yeah, oh, wow. Mike Mike Aiello is one I listen to, and then there's another guy. And I so I listened to Emo Phillips a couple of days ago, and then this morning it oh, was when, were, Sam, oh, okay. when Sam Kennison Sam Kennison was on, and and the outlaw the outlaw uh, you know his those comedian whales. guys. And yeah, uh, comedy, yeah. well, yeah, if so. those guys are listening, stop. Okay, I own those shows. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> then let me download them first. <laughs> no, I'll send them to you. January 4th, 1991 was one of them. And then, yeah, so it's funny to hear you and then, you know, it, it, it's pretty cool. A lot of good memories. So, so I've been listening to those because it's about an hour and a half drive up there. So it's like perfect. Well, where do I find them? I told you just Google Alex Bennett Live 105 and they start popping up. Oh, really? On, on YouTube. On, on YouTube? On Google. Yeah. yeah. On I YouTube. Just, but it's just the audio listening. only, right? Yeah, just audio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So here's the uh, Sam Kennison one. There's a. There's a. Remember Wesley? Was Wesley Wells, the the black oh. singer, crazy guy? Oh, oh, yeah. Wesley. Oh, what was his name? Wesley Wells or something? Willis. Wesley Willis or something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually, his guy nice. Mike Ayello, Ayello has a lot. He has a lot of them up there. Oh. But. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. I yeah, guess I. Get, I guess I should take it as a compliment. Yeah. yeah, for sure. You're and the then I'm probably going to go there and download them uh, because I don't have all that. Uh, 20 views, 9 views, 8 views, 10 views. So it's, yeah. not, it's, I mean, not, so it's not that popular. 67 <laughs> views on one, yeah, 34. Yeah. But it's pretty cool to go back because, you know, that was a big part of, I think, a few of our lives back then. So it's pretty cool to hear. Yeah. So you put in there. Alex Bennett. Live 105. Live 105. Uh -huh. Alex Bennett, Live 105. Oh well, wait a minute. Let me look here. Hold on a second. I can, I can go right here and look. Um, yeah, I don't want to get demonetized, but there's like one guy had, that John, that Mike Aiello has a sticker of Live 105, and that's his face, the face, the front. Wait thing. a minute. Hold on a second. Let me just, uh, uh, let me just do something here. No, no. Yeah, there we go. That, and then I do that, and then what? It, what is the? Uh, it, Alex Bennett Live 105. Alex Bennett Live 105. I, wait, wait, how do I do a search here? I don't know. I don't even. Okay. I don't go over there this often, so I'll do. I'll do it after the show. I'll do it after the show. I won't waste everybody's time with it right now. There's oh, a troublemaker. No, there's yeah, a troublemaker. There she is. There's the little vixen of you of uh, of TikTok. Oh. <laughs> she says, "Why does it say Adrian's dad?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because it does. Because say, you're more famous than me. Everybody's asking for you. Does say show Adrian's out. dad there, folks. See? <laughs> Have you bought her own tablet yet? <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah. She has iPad. But 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 actually, it's Ooh, really great. Right see, there on she is. Xfinity, I can see what her and what the kids are watching. And when I see her, she's watching all YouTube. She just watches YouTube on there. So, nice. Yeah, and, I, and I, like I, 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 you guys I, before. There are a couple guys that she watches that are all these programs that talk about bullying and all these things. They have these storylines, so it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah I, uh, I, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a YouTube uh, geek. I mean, I'm just, that's all I ever watch because it's endless entertainment. Mm -hmm. It's a round rock. You don't know what and you're going to find next. Yeah, I like it. yeah well, I, I pay for it. I pay eleven dollars a month, so I don't have to watch the commercials. Mm -hmm. So I can just watch it, you know, and it's pretty good. Hey, Jeff, you haven't said anything tonight. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. thank you. I just had a round robin. I wanted robin. to say something earlier. I just had a round robin with doctors in the last week or so, and I'm, I guess I'm okay, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But, it's uh, uh, you know the, been a little you know hot the, the last couple of days, but it's cool. Hey, we have a new video. Who has a new video? Uh, Sid our man. They have a, a San Francisco Supper with Schwartzman, too. The guy, the, he downloaded a whole bunch of them a month ago. Yeah, yeah but I wonder where he got them. I think he may have, you know, some people, you know, were very good at saving them himself, themselves. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to listen to that one tomorrow morning on the way up. Well, they yeah. must have an exciting life. <laughs> <laughs> they get the old Wallen sack out and they'd record the show. No, but they, they, a lot of people, I'll tell you, I get stuff occasionally. I'll go online, I'll find stuff that I never knew was out there uh, yeah. that I had lost a long time ago, especially stuff that I did at WMCA, where the only way I could save them is I've, if I save them on 10 and a half inch reels, which are these mm. big audio reels. And, and you couldn't travel with those. You, can, you oh. couldn't save them. You couldn't, you know, I mean, now everything is on, everything's just on f files. You Didn't know. you have a story that you were saving a reel 
uh, like a three quarter inch reel for for 20 30 well, years that's a, no, that, that was a, a I, I did a TV show in Houston Texas just one episode but I did a TV show so when I was at the station I said uh, do, can you make me a copy of it and they said sure here here's a copy of it and I got this what was a at that time a two inch videotape that was the only kind of videotape there was for video two inches tape was two inches wide and on this big head it you get a hernia picking it up okay mm -hmm. but everywhere I moved for the next 30 years I carried this thing with me because I said someday I'm going to be somewhere where somebody can dub this off onto something else and I can have it so finally I wind up at uh, Kate uh, what was it uh, KBHK in San Francisco channel 44 channel 12 on cable and um, um, I uh, uh, was doing a show there and I said I, I walked past this two inch tape machine and I went they still got one and I said hey guys does this thing work and they said yeah I said could somebody do me a real solid I've got a tape I've been lugging around for the last 30 years maybe it wasn't 30 maybe it was 20 but that was enough I said I've been lugging it from town to town and finally, here's a machine that'll play. Could you dub it off for me? Okay. And they said, sure. So they, they uh, ran it on this thing, and they put it on a, you know, quarter-inch quarter, quarter inch tape, VHS tape. Is that half-inch? What was that? I can't remember now. Anyway. Uh, what? I have a copy of it right here. It's on a thumb drive. Yeah, yeah, right. So <laughs> so I so they, they did it for me, and I immediately rushed home I said they said what do you want to do with the video the tape itself I said ah throw it out you know oh. I, we don't need it I go home I throw it in the machine and it was somebody else's show oh no that been a, a local dance show that they did down there so um, <coughs> The Bee Gees. Oh, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> so I didn't have my show. I never had that show. Oh, man. But, you know, people do come to me and send me, say, I've got some stuff of yours at home. I'm, I'll dub you off some stuff. And, and I find shows I haven't heard in years, you know. Uh, and uh, it, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty good. It feels good. Maybe you know? we ought to come up with a T-shirt, customized, Alex Bennett for President 2024. <laughs> Wow. One of the commercials you were doing was that company, the the cell phone company. Remember, you guys had the the thing, uh, buy a phone, get a cone. Yeah, that was uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, Hyphonics, I think it was called something like that. But then, and then, yeah, and then you guys were talking here. You had the other, they had the other store, they had the other store that was somewhere, and they said, buy a celly, get a deli. Well, what happened? I'll tell you what happened with that. There was I, it, it, my business manager's brother actually owned Phonetics. And oh, they started it up, and, and they wanted to start advertising on the morning show. And I'm always good at coming up with slogans and promotions, right? And I went to the store one day, and I said, uh, gee, right next door, there's a place to get ice cream cones. You know, these softy ice cream cones. Well, all kinds of ice cream cones. And um, I said, why don't you make a deal with this guy? And that every time somebody buys a phone, you give them a little coupon or whatever and they can go over and get a free cone and we'll have a, a slogan buy a phone get a cone right. yeah and buy, buy, buy a phone get a cone and it became a big deal everybody was buying the phone so they could get the free ice cream cone you know so it was, it was pretty cool it was fun it was fun mm -hmm. but there's the running those I, I ads to, too huh? I used yeah, to give a that. coupon for a carpet cleaning if you bought carpet from me I would give them a coupon I had a deal with a carpet cleaner and I'd pay a yeah. hundred dollars that's not like getting an ice cream cone <laughs> Phil well, hey Phil Phil do you, put your, do you put your Trump sign out on your front window oh <laughs> I don't know the, the the complex won't allow any anything in the window. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> he's talking about your business yeah your business yeah, did you see did you be see a rock through the window in 14 seconds did you see where Hulu was refusing advertising from uh, pro-life uh, uh, ads that they were running on, uh, trying to run on Hulu, and they turned them down, 
And today mm-hmm. Disney said, well, we've changed our policy on that because all our other organizations we sell time to, ABC will sell time to people for political ads. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, ESPN will do the same thing. Uh, and there's no reason why Hulu shouldn't as well. So they reversed it and now they'll take the ads. So. Oh, and is it, Mickey Mouse the spokesperson? No. <laughs> no. But uh, I'd vote for him for president. You know. But anyway. You already did. Yeah. So anyway, so Hulu has changed their, you know, Disney has changed their uh, opinion on Hulu. And that's mm-hmm. good. So. so you got any good TV shows to watch? No, or not really. I, old, old. I love this show, Orville, The Orville. It's very the Orville? good. Very yeah. good. What's it called? The Orville. What's it called? It's on, it's on. It's on Hulu. You, do you watch it, uh, Charlie? I don't have Hulu yet. Oh, you don't have Hulu yet. It's really good. Oh, the Orville this year is very oh, good. Cool. And then I watched the first two years when it was on regular TV. And then, uh, then also, uh, th- this year, uh, it's back on again now. Is uh, what we do in the shadows? Does anybody know about this? It's also yeah. on Hulu. It's a bit. <laughs> It's about a bunch of just stupid vampires. Mm-hmm. They live in Staten Island, <laughs> and uh, uh, the Republican they, Haven. They, well, they, their their job from the main vampiric council is to take over Staten Island, and they mm-hmm. they can't even get down the block. I mean, that's how bad they are. And it's I, very. I'm funny. dying for something. I'm watching Virgin River right now. Uh, and have, has anybody watched that well, one? Watch what we do in the shadows. You'll yeah. laugh your head yeah. off. It's it's done by yeah. uh, the guy who did Jojo Rabbit. What's his name? The New Zealander. Watiti. Taka Watiti. Yeah. You watch Barry? Huh? You like Barry? Oh, I love Barry. Yeah, that's a good show. Yeah. 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 Very, very good. And we're watching, watching we're watching the last of Better Call Saul now. So. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, it doesn't start again. Uh, there, there's there was like half a season. Yeah, now it's back on again. Oh, it's back on. Oh, it's back on? Yeah. yeah. Okay, because the only thing I saw was one of those uh, Andy Cohen things uh, that you know was a sort of a synopsis uh, with the people, but I didn't see it, uh, that there was the rest of the. Yeah, no, it's back on again. Yeah. yeah. And uh, if if you have Netflix, go back and watch the first episode of every season of Better Call Saul. Because it's these white black and white segments, and if you watch each of them in order, they mm-hmm. all leave off where the last one left off. Mm-hmm. And then last week, the whole episode was black and white, continuing mm-hmm. the story completely. And it, 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 it was amazing. But, you know, as someone who loves the show, you keep going, there are only three more episodes left. Don't do this, <laughs> you know. But, it, but there's, something, there's something where it's going to be, it's going to be uh, important be, to the plot. Okay. So. Wait, what do you think will be the next spinoff from that series? I don't think there is. I don't think there's going to be one. I no? Think, no. I think they're pretty well through. Oh, hey, look. We better get our uh, our ass music. music gear here. Yeah, bring my music. Right. I I don't know whether uh, uh, Jack Jack is going to have a show tonight or not. I haven't been able to get a hold of him. Last thing I heard was he fell again, oh, and he was God. going off to the hospital. But then I didn't. He- I wrote to him and I didn't hear anything back from him. I tried to call him, couldn't get him on the phone. So he, I don't. He sent me a message earlier today saying no show tonight. See, he didn't write me one wow. saying no show tonight. <laughs> well, who are you? Hey, he wrote the we, doctor. Why are we signing off then? We got oh, another hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. Phil, let's fill on. It's like three hours. Yeah, it'd be, it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be like a lifetime. Okay. Anyway. I hope it feels a little better. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for tonight. I'll see you all again tomorrow. Yes. Uh, John. Norman Norman Lear. Oh, I wanted to today. say that. A hundred years old today. Norman wow. Lear. Wow, really? Yeah. He wrote a good uh, piece in the uh, New Yorker. He's still sharp as a tack. Oh, he's, he's, he's very sharp. Not like yeah. me. God. 
I feel loopy. Yeah. Thank you, Phil. I appreciate it. Uh, thank My you. My pleasure. To, to, uh, to uh, <laughs> our, our, uh, uh, sign up for TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> Alan, thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, John Larkin, Jeff Stein. Adrian's dad, thank you for allowing Adrian to be on the show. Oh, there she is. She <laughs> just, she just, like a pop-up. Adrian, what's your TikTok? What's your TikTok name? What's, what's your, your TikTok name? Princess. Princess something? It's probably the name of one of your passwords. Oh, Golden Princess. Golden oh. Princess. The Golden Princess, Phil. Oh. God, she looks like a golden That's my princess. TikTok name. <laughs> Will you ask her to stop being so adorable? Okay. <laughs> It's, okay. It's, Maybe ugly. Yeah. And thank you very much, Tony, for being here as well. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll uh, give a big wave goodbye back at you. Okay. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel. Okay. Good night, guys. Uh, Jack is not on, I guess, huh? Oh well. That's uh, that's sad. Uh, he's not feeling well. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll just uh, go to uh, maybe we'll just go to last night's show of his. In the meantime, I'm Alex Bennett. That's it for now. We'll see you again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, <laughs> as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay. Bye bye, everybody.